Hello, everybody. This is Casey O'Toole. I am going to show you how to use LinkedIn events in conjunction with a Zoom webinar to generate leads in a very easy and fluid way. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and show you what I've been working on recently. I think you're going to like it. So first things first is think of a Zoom webinar that you want to have. So whether it's like a home buying presentation, um, 10 reasons why you, want to, why you should be listing your house right now, a housing market update, um, whatever you want to do as a Zoom webinar to a large amount of people, create a Zoom webinar for it and it'll be a virtual event. Um, so you do that. If you have your Zoom account, you would just go to your webinar section and you would schedule a webinar. I, I'm doing a webinar next week, so I'm using this as an, as an example. Um, but one thing you want to do here is what I like to do, I like to kind of create another source tracking link and I label it LinkedIn event page. That way I know that the registrations are coming from this event page. So anyways, create the Zoom webinar first, then go ahead and go into your LinkedIn account and create the LinkedIn event uh, which I'll show you how to do here, which is pretty simple. You go into your, your home page, and on the left hand column, there's a section for events. You just want to create an event here. It'll bring you to this, this section here, which I've already kind of started. You want to obviously put a banner photo, um, profile photo. The key component here is that you want to create the event and organize it from a business page. And the reason for that is that from the business page, that's the only organizer of an event that will allow you to then create a public event and require a registration form in order to register for the event from within LinkedIn, which means that when someone gets the invitation to join the event, they have to register for with their first name, last name, and email address, which I'll show you later is what you want to upload into Zoom webinars so that those attendees will then get reminder emails about your event. So that's kind of important. So anyways, um, so you create the Zoom webinar, you then create the LinkedIn event from within LinkedIn. I'm gonna create it now. And once it's, once it's created, I'm gonna discard the post. You can post it if you like, but what's unique about this is you can really hone in on who you want to be inviting to your to your event and you get a really high conversion rate of invitations per conversions so it's really simple to invite connections i'll show you um, you can either search for people in particular they want to invite to the event so i'm going to show you i'm going to invite my my wonderful wife and i'll show you what they see on their end when they receive the invitation but what i want to show you here is you you can also search for everyone who lives in your particular area. Um, you can then filter based on current companies, current or schools that they went to school at, or even industries. So if you have a niche with, with the tech industry or with healthcare, you reach out to everyone in healthcare. But what's nice about this is that, let's say you wanna be doing people in healthcare in your area. So in my case, it'll be Santa Barbara. Now what's nice about that is you can then scroll down and you're allowed to have 100 or 1000 invitations per week. So you're allowed to scroll and effectively capture a thousand people that are in your LinkedIn network. So that's, that's a caveat too. They have to be in your LinkedIn network. Once you have them in your network, you can invite them to your events and you can do it on mass scale. So you'll see here that's 150, keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling until you hit about a thousand and then you would hit invite. I'm not gonna do that because this event that I created is about LinkedIn, it's not about real estate. So, but I wanna show you how to do it. It's very simple to invite your, your LinkedIn connections to an event that you create. And what's nice about this too, is that if you, if you say, say you invite about a thousand people, you get about a hundred people from that thousand registering for your event. So that's a pretty high conversion rate of total invites versus conversions. And the reason for that, and what's nice about that too, is I'm gonna to go to my, my wife's page now because 
when, when a LinkedIn event invite comes through, it'll come into their my network section. So this is my, my wife's account. It'll come into my network se section. Um, and it says KCO tool invited you to the LinkedIn master 2.0 um, true tactics for sales and business growth. So when she clicks accept, it will require me to her to put in her email address and then agree to my terms. So what's interesting about this is that now that's information that you can then download from within LinkedIn and upload onto Zoom. So in order to show that, I'm gonna show you one of my previous events that I did, um, which will give you a better idea of how many people I was able to upload to an event. So let's go to home. This is one I did recently um, with, with Tristan Ahumada, who's the founder of Lab Code Agents. We got over 520 attendees for this event through LinkedIn. You can download that attendee registration uh, spreadsheet. Then the trick is, is to upload that list of people into your Zoom registration link. So you can import from a CSV file. And because you are downloading um, the file as a CSV, you would upload them in this section here. And now you're automatically uploading 520 people from a LinkedIn event into a Zoom event. And now that, that list of people, they're gonna be getting um, reminder emails about your event um, from Zoom, which everyone's kind of familiar with. And they give you a 24 hour notification. And I believe you can even make settings for an hour before the event as well. So what's nice about that again is, is you can do a mass amounts of promotion using the LinkedIn um, you know, invitation feature from LinkedIn events. You capture your attendees information from um, the registration forms. You then upload them into Zoom. And then now you have 520 people that have registered for your event or a bunch of people that have registered for your event that will be getting reminder notifications before your event so that when you have your event, um, your webinar, it will be much more attended and you'll be getting leads fairly easily. So it's one of these little things that I've been working on recently that's worked really well for us. And I think it'll work well for you too. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I will talk to you soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.